Okay, welcome back. This time I'm going to show you how to resolve conflicts in, when you do uh, updates or merges or something like that. Um, it's been a while since the last few videos, but I assume you understand how to set up a repository and all that. If you don't, you watch the first three videos. Um, okay, so I have some repository over on my server. Um, called it example repo. In there I have a hello world uh, program. And, uh, and then you see this, that's I just checked it out in temp example repo. Then here I checked another copy of it out into a directory I called other computer. Like pretend it's on a different computer or something. You know, it's your coworker working on it. It's a different computer. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to make changes on one computer, you know, in one of these repositories. I'm going to commit it and then I'm going to go to the other copy of the repository. I'm going to make some local changes there too and then try to get an update from the server and you'll see that it's going to fail. Okay. So on the other computer I will open this. Hello world. And <clears throat> right, so some program it prints out hi. That's hello world. And then it's going to print out a goodbye message. So I'm going to change this. I'll change the goodbye message to, you know, um, bye bye. Okay. It said bye bye. Now it says bye bye. Okay. I'm going to commit this. Changed goodbye message. Now I'm going to come over. That was on the other computer. Now, assuming, you know, on my desktop, I'm working on the project at the same time. And let's say I made a different change. I'm going to put, um, you know, ciao for goodbye. And then, I, before I commit my changes to the repository, I'm going to try and get a, an update. But then you see that there's a conflict. SVN finds a conflict. And it gives us a bunch of options on how to deal with it. I'll show you how to do um, the postpone option, the edit option, and my side and their side. Okay. You can mess around with diff and merge, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do. You put S here, and it gives you several other things you can do. Okay. So the first thing I'll do is I'll postpone the difference. I'll postpone the, the, the merge. Now, now look what happens in our local repository. I hope you can see this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, now it's generated a few other files. It's got a mine file, R14 and R15. These numbers don't matter so much. This is saying there's a lower one and then there's a one after it. So this is going to be what you had locally. This file is what is the last thing you checked out of the repository. So this would say um, bye bye. I should say bye bye because that was the last thing you checked out of the repository. See? But now the 15 one has what's currently in the repository. That says bye bye. That was the last thing we checked in on a different machine, you know, in the other folder we checked that in. Yeah, and then the, um, the mine file that has what you had. But then if you look at the, the original one, it's going to have all this extra information in it. Um, it says what you have in mine. It says what's currently in the repository. And uh, I feel like under other circumstances, I've also seen something like this. You might see something like this. I don't know the specifics of why you see that. But you would see what was the last thing, you know, you had. That was the last thing that you had checked out was bye bye. Right. You might see that line as well. I don't see it here. I don't know why. Doesn't matter. Um, and I don't know why you don't see it, but you don't right now. That's fine. So now we have to resolve it. Do we do we want to get the thing that's currently in the repository, or do we want to? And you and you know what? I I'll bet that that has to do with the version because on my other 
I was playing around with this on a different machine, and I have a, this is an old computer I'm using right now, mm. and the other one I have, uh, my other machine I have the Ubuntu 1610, and I had a fresh install of Subversion, and this whole thing I've had, I'm running, uh, I don't know what I'm running, 14 or something on it, and um, I'm using an older version of Subversion, probably, I'm not sure, but anyway, yeah, I don't, you don't see R14 here, you might see it. Uh, anyway, we have to resolve the difference. I'm going to say that, assume that, you know, your thing is what you wanted. So you can get rid of the other stuff and say, you know, the stuff that you had in your local copy is what should be in the repository. Okay. Now you're going to put SVN resolved and put the file that you resolved. And it says it resolved the conflicted state. And uh, then you check it in. Resolved conflict in the low world. And another thing worth mentioning is after you give this uh, resolved command, those files are cleaned up. The mine, the R14, the R15 are all cleaned up. So that's one thing you can do. That's one way to resolve differences. That's that's one way to, to handle conflicts when you do a merge. 